Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing my boyfriend's fountain pens. I'm joined by my puppy right now, so if you hear any licking or weird sounds, that would be her. Any fur that goes on the table, well, it might be mine, it might be hers. Recently, my boyfriend brought in his pens to work because one of his coworkers had said that he had tried fountain pens before, but had found them really scratchy. I joked and said he did a little bit of a show and tell. I end up using my boyfriend's pens a lot more than he does, so I had already had a few of them inked up and in use, but for the other ones that he wanted to bring in so they could test out, I picked out the ink colors. So I'm gonna go through and swatch the inks that he brought. Stop looking your box. You can have allergies after I'm done filming. So we're gonna do a bit of a currently inked and a collection video. Are you gonna lick your lips like literally every time I talk? Stop it, okay, I can't do this, I can't do it. I can't do this. Mwah. Say goodbye. <laughs> Where was I? All of his pens fit in this endless pen case. It works for him because he's not constantly reaching in and out to grab his pens. It's more just obviously for storage. I have issues with it because it doesn't lay flat and when you pull the pen out there's nothing to protect it from these teeth of the zipper yes we will start with the safaris his first fountain pen was this lamy safari this is the 2017 limited edition in the color petrol blue it's a really nice color and i like how the nib is dark what did he do to this? What, what did you do to this? Why is that dinged here? What did I touch that got ink on my hands? Oh my God. I inked this up with a very troublesome ink. He wanted to put Pilot Black in here and I said, boring. I grabbed Organic Studio Hemingway. I think it's also called Santiago Sea Blue. This is a pain in the butt. Every time I open this up, oh, see, there's just little flakes just little flakes everywhere and if the water hits that it's just whoo, gonna be ink everywhere annoying i swear i've cleaned this bottle off before this would be the ink color that is embedded in my fingernail. I'm concerned for this pen though. How did this get scratched? What did you do? Oof, look at that color. That's so beautiful. A little dark right now though. I put a little bit too much down. It's not the pen's fault, I don't think. It's more of a ink issue that that didn't start right away. I believe. I don't know. I've been collecting pens since 2017, but I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oops. Oops. And this is a medium nib. It's very lucky that he likes to clean out the pens because um, this one's gonna need it. Did I write that like super crooked? I can't see the dots very well with a stupid ring light. What do you think? Did I did I choose well with this pairing? Of course I did. It's amazing, fabulous, stunning. I feel like I need to go wash my hands. Oh my god. so pretty but it's such a pain it's kind of like me <laughs> so pretty but a little messy and this will dry probably by 2026 maybe I don't know. he also has this let me just consult my netbook he likes this hideous green i just ugh, ugh. Hello, I guess I could check my contents page. That would be too easy. Okay, fine. Lamy Safari. I don't even need to do a fountain pen collection video. It's like, here you go, this is all the fountain pens I have. Savannah Green 59. Here we are. 
the cute little note from Yoseka. Okay, so it's a special edition for 2021. And he's never inked it up. Empty. Like my brain. What did, what did you do here? It's never even been used. Did I do that? Okay, I'll use the water here. Not my spit. I don't know if that's something sticky or what. Uh-oh. Did I get ink on oh, no. Boring. So this is the petrol special edition for the Safari. And then this is the petrol special edition in the All-Star. Does this have ink in it? This might actually be inked up. No, it's not. Look how gross this is. Shame. Shame on you. What was this inked up with though? Probably something ugly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Extra fine. Wow. I didn't know we had an extra fine. Well, this needs to be cleaned out. Better get her done. They came out with this petrol color as well as the lilac color as the all-star special editions. And we decided to get them on our anniversary. So I got the lilac, he got the petrol. Is this a scratch? What are you doing to these pens? You don't even use them. Next is his second pen. And this is probably the one that got me most excited about fountain pens, even though it smelled so bad. like. Okay, it doesn't smell that bad now. Like, you can barely smell it, but whatever the resin is that they use for this just reeks. It's just it's horrible. It's ugh. like you'll stink up the whole room. This is the Noodler's Ahab. You might have seen this on my channel before if you've watched any of my currently inked videos. I use this one quite a lot. And I already had this inked up with Van Diemen's Queenstown Goldmine, which is part of their Tasmania collection. It's like clogged with shimmer right there. Oops. Don't grab a napkin or anything. So it is starting to yellow. This wasn't this color, obviously, when we got it, but we, I, I've pretty much claimed ownership of this pen. What do you call this? Let's see. Consult my handy dandy notebook. This was our third pen, so it should be in the front. R. See, it's just in my language. It's R pen. It's a number six flex steel nib, and it's a slide piston. Okay, so a slide piston filling mechanism, and we've had this since 2017. Didn't mean to flip you off there. Wait, did I ever actually clean this off from when I had the... Oh, I didn't. What a dummy. So there's a little bit of organic studio mixed in this. Oh, you're just firing all cylinders today, aren't you? Jesus. Oh, I need this out of my way. I, like, sometimes I write like this. Does anybody else write this crooked? Is this bizarre the way that I write? Flick. Look at it. It's such a fun pen. I love it. I'm going to leave this one out of the case because I am using it. <laughs> yeah. This next one is a Moon Man. They come with a couple different nibs. I didn't like the extra fine, so I immediately switched it out with the stub nib. And mine is right here. This one is his. This one actually might have been mine, and then I like had to switch to this one. The nib and the feed aren't lined up properly, so this one just needs a little attention. I told him to bring mine, which has the stub nib on it, just so that there was some variation with the nibs that he was showing everyone. Stay. I don't like it when pens do not have a clip or something to keep it from rolling. This is an eyedropper, so you just unscrew it here. This one actually came with this pen, and you just fill it up, and then you just screw it back on. Yeah. 
It's so pretty. Why does it look yellow? The only thing I don't like about this pen is that it doesn't really post well. I think if I left this on here, it would just fly off. So this one's actually mine, so I'm going to leave it out. We have another pen from Moon Man. This is the Wonkai Mini. He purchased two of them. This one is his. Mine is green with a pattern. The nib and the feet are obviously stuck. And it's sticky. Why is it sticky, Fongi? I think he had some tape or something on it. Like, what is this? Why? Glue? I know you haven't used it, so what you do to it? <laughs> but obviously there's some ink still in here. I might have actually inked this up and then tried to take this off. It might have been me that broke this. I don't know. He needs to give it some attention, though. This poor pen. Mine's not inked up either. I think I have a fine nib on it. I don't like the way it writes, so I should I should put the other stub nib on that because I'm sure they're interchangeable. Ooh, I love stub nibs. Spoiler alert. Next. See, I have to protect it with my thinners. This is the Twisby Precision, and I actually purchased this for him as a gift. And I got it with a fine nib. Look how ridiculous that is. I don't know if it's supposed to go down further. Oh, maybe. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it. Oh, God, I've done it. I'm going to die. If there's a scratch, it was already there. This has been inked up for a few months now with Fuyu Siogun by Pilot. It's part of their Iroshizuku line. Kind of looks like it's eating up the paper here. The one thing about this is like if you twist it all the way, it doesn't line up. So I always have to twist it back a little bit so that that lines up there. Next is actually one of my pens. I purchased this Twisby VAC 700R. Yes. While it's really pretty, I love the nib. I love the iris color. I hate writing with this pen. And so when he got this pen case and we were filling it up, I was going through my pen case because I had stored all of his pens in mine and I was taking them out and I was like, do you want this? And he was just like, sure. I should try writing with this pen now that I know that for a vac pen, you are supposed to open this up at the end here so that the ink can actually get to the feed and the nib. Uh, I, I don't know how I missed that part. I don't like that it doesn't post. Like you can kind of put this on here, but it's not gonna stay. And that really irritates me. I don't like how this is shaped back here. Such a weird design. This is the only Conklin that we have in our collection. It is a Duragraph in the matte black rainbow and it's a limited edition. The nib is pretty stiff. I didn't particularly like writing with this the last time I inked it up, but I think with the diamine ink in here, it's a lot better. I love the matte black and the black nib. That's stunning. This ink in it works a lot better than what I've inked it up with in the past. I think those inks were too dry. I might actually reach for this pen and enjoy using it with this one. Isn't my pant... Oh. Isn't my pen so pretty? This one, he thinks it's his because I bought it for him, but it's actually mine. I'm letting him hold on to it for me. Lastly is his Waterman Karen. This is his most recent pen. He got it for our 15 year anniversary, which was earlier this year. It was a bit of a jump from the Lamy All Stars to go to this pen and a Pilot Vanishing Point, but I'm here for it. And this is an inlaid nib. It is a medium. We were thinking it was going to be a little bit more of a red color 
and it turns out it's more brown, which is fine. We actually like the color. This is his first gold nib and it writes so smoothly. I think my Pilot Custom 743 is a close second. This is probably the smoothest writer that we have though. I inked this up with a sample of Monteverde Scotch Brown and I only have a tiny amount left. I don't know if I'd buy a full bottle of this ink. I'm not a huge fan of brown inks, but it has some really nice shading. Ignore that heart start right there. Just ignore that. You didn't see anything. And this is an 18 karat gold nib. La 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 so nice so smooth so fancy I'm glad to have this in my collection <laughs> I think this is our only like adult looking fountain pen too this is like your old man looking fountain pen your grandpa's pen that writes smoothly yes Oh no. Did I get ink on there? Is that ink? No. Yes? No. <laughs> He's never going to trust me with his stuff again. What do you think of my pairings here? Pretty good, huh? I'll just put this back a moment, but I'm taking that back out. What do you think of his modest collection? Thank you for watching. Bye. I made my own coffee today. It sucks. My boyfriend is a sensible fellow. I always joke that I'm like a dog and he's like a cat. He's very like averse to water, but he always is clean. I'm kind of always slobbering everywhere. I'm a mess. See, this, this is practice for when I do my my collection video. I want that to be perfect, but this is just his stuff, so it doesn't matter.